important right now for the Dolphins as they head west to Seattle. They are without Tua Tunga Vailoa for uh, the future for now. They're facing a 2 0 Mike McDonald led Seahawks team going up against Mike McDaniel. Akbar, talk to us. Uh, uh, Dolphin fish versus the birds. Yeah, you know, I, I think this is a perfect opportunity for them to treat Skylar Thompson like they did with Malik Willis. I think you establish a run game get him comfortable so he can manage the game and get the balls to his playmakers. I think that's the simple plan for Skylar Thompson. My uh, preseason coach of the year pick was a guy named Mike McDonald up uh -huh. in Seattle. Very quietly, they've beaten an inferior Denver team, and very quietly, they've beaten an inferior New England Patriots team. If you don't want to give them credit yet, I understand. I think they're going to dominate this game, too. And I know two is out, but don't get it twisted. Tyreek could still play. Waddle could still play. A-Chan could still play. Like, Dolphins are a solid team. I just think McDonald's defense is clicking, and that offense is getting going, too. Seahawks, 3-0. and And guess what? A lot of injuries in the NFC West. One of the unwritten rules of Mad Minute is that there's any time you're not prepared to answer, you always happen to go first. Cowboys, Ravens, I was having earpiece problems. <laughs> I had no idea what Jamie mm. was saying. I go, Peter, you go. He goes, Kyle, give us Kyle, 15 seconds. I just completely passed it back to me. Uh, the Seahawks are the quietest 2-0 team in the league that's not the Chargers. 3-0 is 3-0. It's a coming out party. I think at home they get it.